Paddy, two goals and three points. It's the perfect late Christmas present, isn't it? Yeah, uh, nice, nice to get a couple of goals and another clean sheet at home. And uh, more importantly, another three points. So, uh, no, uh, put the Bristol Rovers game behind us and uh, lads come out of the blocks and uh, show good character to get three 0 win. You look at Doncaster season, a team that were pushing on the playoffs last season, looking to the same again. You went there and won four nil, come in and beat them three nil. What does that say about this side? Well, you know, as I said before, we have everything in, in, in our side, so you know, sometimes we just need to be a bit more consistent, and uh, we'll climb that table. We we show them we can play play against the the bigger teams that are all obviously higher in the league position. So you know, there's no uh, uh, reason why we can't go on a run. So showing that a bit more consistency. Just talk us through both of your goals. The first one I've said before, it's like a trademark paddy and finish, run at the near post and a, and a glancing header. Yeah, it's a great ball by shares. Uh, they're the kind of balls I like. The early ones where there's a bit of space in behind rather than crossing from like a, a further on position. I like them early ones because yeah, you get to move. There's a bit more space to get behind the defenders uh, and it's a great ball. And, uh, thankfully, I've just uh, caught a nice and it's gone in. You look at half time going at 1 0 up. What did the gaffer say to you coming out in the second half? You know, um, well, I think first half we are a bit, bit sloppy and a bit, you know, Donny, Donny probably the, to be fair, probably the better team in the first half. So, uh, Gaffer obviously gave us a few words and, and got us going. And, um, you know, that little uh, few words from the Gaffer uh, helped us um, consolidate the shape. And, you know, we, we showed great character, as I said, to go on and win Trino. And you go and get that second goal, maybe a bit of controversy in that one, but we'll let that one go. But again, to finish off your, your second goal of the game, it's nice to finish the day off with uh, all three points. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Great great uh, ball from Marin to slide me in. And, uh, thankfully, I've, I've, uh, I've caught it and it's gone in, yeah. But as I said, another, uh, it's a lot of confidence to be taken now with that. Another clean sheet at home. I think it's four now in a row, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, another big win. You look at the kind of game. You said Doncaster had the chances. Does it say something about this Fleetwood team that they're a bit more defensive minded, but they're consolidating, getting in your shape, and getting teams on the counter attack? Yeah, that's it. You know, I think you know, this league is kind of you know, if you keep your shape uh, and don't uh, overdo things, uh, you can you can win a lot of games. So uh, I think we done that superbly in the second half. Uh, even the boys who came on you know, knew their roles, and uh, we grinded it out. And, and as I said, uh, Donny other than a few kind of. Long shots didn't look like scoring at all, so we can take a lot of uh, confidence out of that. You know, Daniel good, really good side. They've proven that over the, the course of the um, half the season so far, and you know, I think uh, a lot of confidence should be taken out of. Would you say this league's all about taking your chances? We look at these two games against Doncaster. They've had maybe the same amount of chances, but we've just been a bit more clinical in front of goal. Yeah, I think so. Just uh, you know, League One is all about yeah, you take your chances. Um, you know, because it's you know, League One's probably the most end to end league and world football probably like I don't know but you know it is definitely in England it's uh, you know, a lot more end to end where championship and Premier League is more uh, possession based so uh, yeah if a if chance has come you have to take it and more than likely uh, you know if you get a nice, a, a nice lead in, in a game you'll uh, go on and win I think it's seven now unbeaten at home in the league just kind of making Harbury a fortress now aren't we yeah that took me wanted from the start obviously took us a little bit uh, a little time to get get the home farm going but as I said, we knew with, with every with the squad and the staff we have that we would get that right, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, well, the last four results show that that we're turning into a bit of a fortress. But it's important that we don't get ahead of ourselves. It's just another win, and if we want to go where we want to go, we just take, keep uh, taking each game as it comes. And as I said, just keep racking up them points at home, and I'm, I'm uh, very confident that the away form would be like we'll, we'll get like uh, the start of the season. And to finish off the year, Portsmouth at home, and good to get six points out of the, the two games won it before the new year. Yeah, you know, if you go there, and if you obviously were at home, but if you get another three points out of that, you know, it's a, it's an amazing uh, confidence booster for the whole for the whole squad. Um, you know, two top teams, and if you can go and get six points, maximum points out of that, you know, the confidence will be re very high and gives you that little push for the re the remainder of the season. Just a final one for me with a busy Christmas period. How do you look after yourself as games come thick and fast? Yeah, it's obviously yeah, it's obviously hard, you know. Obviously, you know you have the families over and stuff, and uh, the old beverages do be uh, given out, but you have to kind of have that kind of um, professionalism, and you know, just you'll have a lot more days to do stuff like that. So it's important that you just uh, just look after stuff, refuel, and keep hydrated, and you know, mentally prepared, and get ready for the games, and because uh, it's a quick turnaround.